this crop himself. Because Mr. Ryan's got more important things to do than to enforce loyalty in the ranks. Say hello to Fontaine, you backstabbing son of a bitch! That's a marvel. Another man happens to be on a plane that crash lands on the same city in the middle of the ocean. Why, that sounds more like a miracle. <laughs> I begged Mr. Ryan to hand Fontaine's futuristics over to Atlas's boys as a peace offering. But the stupid sod won't listen to reason. Instead, he's just splicing his mob up, giving them more and tougher plasmids. There's an arms race on here, in Rapture. But it's not about who can build the best guns and the biggest bombs. It's about who can become less of a man and more of a monster. overly inconvenienced by his own demise. On New Year's Eve, his wretched splicers come streaming out of the poorhouses and stormed the proverbial barricades. The dead rot in the streets, and Johnny and Jamie's citizen are lined up round the block for plasmids. 
Anything to help fend off the rabble.
Will these creatures kill you? Even I don't know. As you drag me closer to the abyss, you pull yourself right along with me. I offer you a quick death, It would be preferable to what you will learn if you win. <laughs> by his own demise. On New Year's Eve, his wretched splicers come streaming out of poor houses and storm to the proverbial barricades. Are they all dead? Hope so. Best be heading on to the core. So far away from your family, from your friends, from everything you ever loved. But for some reason, you like it here. You feel something you can't quite put your finger on. Think about it for a second, and maybe the word will come to you. What did Atlas offer you? A piece of my plundered city? Mark my words. Your only reward will be a knife in the back. In the end, all that matters to me is me. And all that matters to you is you. It is the nature of things. <laughs>